Oh, what the hairs in my face. Need some more hairspray. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Donata, and I am back after a long, long break without making any videos. I just didn't feel this month like I had a ton of valuable things to share with you. I really try to keep my content super, super helpful for you guys, and I didn't want to be making videos for the sake of just making videos willy-nilly. I didn't feel like I had anything super important to share. But I am here today with my November favorites, and it is a little bit early. And that's because once Thanksgiving hits, we all know it's like full-on holiday season mode. And I wanted to get my November favorites out there for you guys because some of this stuff is going to be really great for holiday gifting. So without any further ado, let's get started with the November favorites. So I feel like many of you enjoy makeup favorites the most, so we'll start with those. So my first favorite this month is my Sephora Liquid Eyeliner in Black. And it's been a while since I purchased this because every time I go to the store, it's completely sold out and I could not find it for a while. Um, but I managed to snag a couple of them last time I went to Sephora. And they've changed the brush since I last purchased this from a standard brush to a felt tip. And since they've changed the brush, I actually like it even better than I did before. I feel like the felt brush works really well with this eyeliner. And I can get a really, really sharp wing like I have on today with this eyeliner. I could do it thick. I could do a thin wing, I could do a tiny little flick, or I can just kind of end the eyeliner without doing a wing and it all looks great with this formula and this brush. And I really love this eyeliner because it's super, super pigmented, it's super black, and it's matte. Um, I feel like eyeliner should just be matte most of the time unless it's a purposely glossy eyeliner, but I've noticed with some liquid eyeliners that it's not a totally matte finish and I really like that about this one. So if you haven't picked this up, it's at Sephora, it's the Sephora brand liquid eyeliner and it's $12 and it lasts you a really long time and it does a great, great job. So if you're into liquid liner, I highly recommend this one. The next favorite is another oldie but goodie, but I feel like it is perfect for the holiday season and that is the Mary Luminizer by The Balm. I have a ton of it on today and I'm just shining up to high heaven. And that is because this little baby is the perfect beige vanilla champagne, super, super highlightery highlighter and it's gonna be perfect for holiday season parties. I kind of just slap this on on a regular basis for work, <laughs> which may seem a little excessive because like, bing, like it is very, very shiny. But I've been just doing brows and mascara and then just popping a little bit of this on my cheekbones and I feel like it really works with a bare face. So if you have this product, that's a new way to try it. And if you don't have this already, it is a really great pretty universal highlighter. If you have super dark skin, I would go with something a little darker and more gold than this one, but um, for, other, for anyone other than somebody with super, super dark skin, I think this is a great color. So as I just mentioned, I have been super into a dewy, fresh skinned look with just brows and mascara for work, no foundation, no lips, maybe a little bit of chapstick. But one thing that's been helping me achieve that, aside from my regular moisturizer, is this NYX Dewy Finish Setting Spray. You can actually just spray this on bare skin, and I feel like it kind of adds a little bit of moisture and keeps your dry skin from kind of popping back up throughout the day. Because you know how sometimes when you put moisturizer on and your skin looks fine, and then a couple hours later you notice like the flakes kind of pop it back up? You can keep this in your bag and just kind of give yourself a little spritz really quick, and those will kind of tone down. Maybe not go away, maybe you should think about exfoliating if you have like a real problem, but um, this kind of keeps it at bay for those emergencies when you're out and about and don't have moisturizer with you. And it's also a really good setting spray. I don't notice that my makeup lasts any longer with this, but it really is great for toning down the look of over powdered skin. Like if you accidentally pile on too much powder or your powder is kind of sitting on top of your skin for some reason or just not settling in, you can spray this on and it'll tone that look down and kind of blend everything together and make it look natural, which I really love. So I always have a few backups of this in my collection. I think I probably have three of them right now. They're very cheap and I buy them when NYX products are on sale at Ulta. So the next things that I have been loving are all from Red Apple Lipsticks Winter 2015 collection. They sent their collection to me um, last week, I believe, and I did a full review with swatches on my blog. So if you go to DonataWhite.com, it should be the very first recent post on the homepage. So you can scroll down and click that for swatches and everything. But I have three super duper duper favorites from the collection. It is three of their lipsticks. So my first favorite this month is Second Date, and this is the lipstick I'm wearing in this video. I love this because it's a shimmery raspberry color and it's perfect for the holidays. 
It's not a traditional creamy holiday red, but that's what I love about it. I love that it's a little bit something different, but definitely festive for the season. And you could also wear this in a kind of sheer way and pat it on your lips for a little bit of a sheer look and it'll give you that berry tone without it being full on like I'm wearing it right now. My second favorite from this collection is Starlet, and this one has been living in my purse. I absolutely love this color. It is a pinkish red with a cream finish, but when you wear this sheer, it is such a beautiful color. I have swatches again on my blog, but this is just a gorgeous, gorgeous color for everyday wear or daytime holiday events. And again, as with all of their lipsticks, you can wear it in a full on opaque way, and that way it's gonna give you a super festive pinkish red color for the holiday season as well. And my last favorite from this collection is called Mabel. This one is awesome if you are not a super duper fan of red lipsticks. This is the perfect mauve lipstick in my opinion. It's a little bit pink, a little bit brown, a little bit purple, and it's that perfect fall winter neutral lip for every day. I have been wearing this one a ton and I love it with nude gloss and I also love it with a berry toned gloss. It gives you a really, really neat finish. So here they are compared to each other. This is Second Date, this one is Starlet, and this one is Mabel. As you can see, they're all different, but they're all great for this time of year. And especially Mabel, I think you can get away with it any time. But I do love these two, Second Date and Starlet, for the holiday season, and that is why they have made it into this month's favorites. Red Apple Lipstick still has these in stock. I checked right before I started filming this video. So if you're interested in any of these colors, I highly suggest going over there and picking them up now because they do take a two week break for the holidays to send all of their employees home to be with their families, which I think is really awesome. It's one of the many reasons why I love Red Apple Lipstick as a company. But if you do want any of these for friends as gifts or for yourself this holiday season, I'd go ahead over to the Red Apple Lipstick website and get your hands on these right away. My first hair favorite is the Garnier Fructis Triple Nutrition Miracle Dry Oil. And how I use this is after my hair is dry, whether I'm wearing it curly or straight, I will spray this one and a half spritzes into my hand, rub it together and just go through my ends kind of from here down because around this time of year my hair gets super dry and this helps keep down the frizz and leaves my hair shiny as you can see despite the fact that the weather is doing everything in its power to dry my hair out and break it off my head. If you have less hair than I do, which most people have less hair than I do, as you can see, I kind of, I have like almost two feet of like really thick hair and these are not extensions, this is my natural hair. So if you have less hair than I do, I would recommend starting with half a spray and then if you kind of have long hair but maybe not quite as long as me, try a full spray and see if that works for you. Um, again, experiment with the amount of product based on the length and thickness of your own hair. But I do think that the texture of this product would be really great for a ton of people. Um, just because it's so lightweight. If you have super duper thin hair, I maybe wouldn't try this. But if you have it normal to thick hair, um, curly or straight, I think this would work really well for you to keep that dryness away and make sure your hair is shiny throughout the entire winter. The next favorite I want to share with you is my Aquis Hair Towel. It's kind of hard to show you, but it is a very thin, long, rectangular hair towel and it doesn't have a nubby texture like a regular towel would. It's a very smooth cotton towel that is really, really absorbent, and I love this. When I get out of the shower, I kind of squeeze my hair out gently, and then I wrap it up in this for probably about 30 minutes to an hour, and I feel like this dries my hair without tugging on it and causing damage and breakage in my hair. And I, the other thing I really love about this is that it's super lightweight, so you can walk around with it wrapped up on your head without like feeling like you're about to tip over and like fall to the ground. I love this, especially for this time of year. It's getting a little bit colder and I don't wanna walk around with wet hair very often or for very long when I do have to do it. So I like this hair towel. It dries my hair quickly, doesn't cause damage, and I can kind of leave my hair wrapped up a little bit longer without the inconvenience of having a giant towel on my head. So if you haven't tried these, if you have long hair, um, or hair that's prone to like damage or breaking, I highly suggest getting your hands on one of these. Again, that's an Aquis hair towel. And if you miss the name of any of these products, I'm going to put everything in this video down in the description box so you guys can find it. My last hair favorite is this Hubaloo hair wrap. So I did a video at the beginning of this year about a 
technique for curly hair called plopping and it's where you kind of scrunch your hair and leave it wrapped up overnight or for a couple of hours to kind of shape your curls without causing frizz. And in that video I used a t-shirt to wrap my hair because the trick to getting that to work is you have to use a very thin fabric. But Hubble has sent me one of their hair wraps and it is specifically made for wrapping your hair such as when you're plopping your hair. So this is a very thin fabric and as you can see it's got a seam here and it's kind of made into like a hood shape. So you can easily wrap your hair with this, tie it around the front and it'll hold your hair in place and it's very very thin so that the air comes in, your hair dries out and then you're totally fine. A lot of people expressed to me that they didn't believe that my hair was dry when I took it out and the thing that I didn't really explain that well in that hair plopping tutorial was that I was using a very very thin fabric. So the reason I love this so much, it is the perfect fabric for wrapping your hair and allowing airflow in so that your hair dries out and also for not causing damage because the fabric is very very smooth. And it's also very stretchy so it's easy to tie, it's not going to be uncomfortable on your head. And because of the shape of this hair wrap, you can easily fit a ton of hair like I have or you can wrap it up a little bit differently for short hair so that the wrap isn't kind of like sliding all over your head. You can keep it kind of compact and tight on there for whatever length of hair you have. So I really have been enjoying this as well. And my final favorite is a fashion favorite and I have been going back to this fashion favorite year after year after year because it is so awesome. This is the American Apparel circle scarf. It is their soft jersey circle scarf. I'll put the exact name of the product in the description box. But this is their um, kind of heather green color and I have been obsessed. I have three of these circle scarves and this is the one I've kind of been obsessed with lately. Because it's a neutral but it's not a boring neutral. So I can wear this with almost anything but it's a little bit of an interesting color. I have a fashion post on DonataWhite.com where I am wearing this scarf and you'll see how it goes with a ton of colors and looks really sophisticated but it also is like the most comfortable scarf in the world. So let's do a little demonstration. So the reason I love this is number one because it's giant. So this is it all kind of gathered up but like look how wide this is. You can, if you get cold you can use it as like a wrap to kind of keep you warm or because it's so so big you can double it around your neck and because this is so much fabric it really does keep you warm and you can kind of spread it out and zhuzh it around to like really cover your entire neckline like right now I have a scoop neck but if you had a really deep V or something on you could totally cover that up and keep yourself warm while you are out and then when you get inside you could just take it off and your lovely neckline from whatever outfit you're wearing will still be exposed. So I keep this on the hanger with my coat because I will very likely be wearing it every day. So I just keep this on the hanger with my jackets because if I'm wearing my jacket, it's going on my neck. So I'm obsessed with these. I bought them for every woman in my family two years ago for Christmas. I seriously picked out an individual color and bought everyone in my family one of these scarves and they all love them. So if you haven't gotten one of these yet, this would make a great gift and it also makes a great fall and winter accessory for yourself if you're online shopping and you want to buy yourself a little gift. So that's it for this video everyone. I hope you enjoyed this November favorites. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope this was helpful for you. I tried to choose products that are going to be great either for the weather, for yourself, or great as gifts for this season. So if you haven't already, do me a huge favor and subscribe to this channel. I'm going to be doing a bunch of reviews of things that you may want to give as gifts. I'm going to be doing holiday themed tutorials. I'm going to try to do a couple of recipe videos. And I am also going to be doing a bunch of exclusive content both on my Periscope and on my website, DonataWhite.com. So follow me on Periscope. I am at Miss Donata White on Periscope. I am trying to scope more often about sort of time management, goal setting, that kind of stuff. So if you're interested in that sort of content, follow me on Periscope. I could also move some of that content over here if you guys are interested in that. I am working on a little bit of a New Year's resolutions workbook for you guys. I've got a lot of stuff in the mix. So subscribe to this channel. I'll be sure to announce a lot of that over here so you guys never miss it. So you can also find me on Twitter, Instagram, and on Periscope. I am Miss Donata White at 
all of those social media. So if you're looking for me, look for Miss Donata White and I should be there. Thank you guys again so much for watching. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already so you don't miss any of this fun holiday and New Year's content. And I will talk to you in the next video. Bye!